G'day YouTube, 1MJ here. Welcome back to my channel. Well, there's been, you know, a lot of fight about, you know, where Bitcoin's going and it's kind of plateauing and, you know, it's going to dump and all the rest of it and just a lot of kind of fear in the market, really. Uh, and I wanted to put some perspective uh, into things. Look, could the market take a bit of a dump? Absolutely, it could. It could do it tomorrow, it could do it in six months, could do it in a year's time, who knows? But adoption is really where it's at and that's what you've got to look at the amount of places that are adopting cryptocurrencies and not just bitcoin like bitcoin is the you know it's the granddaddy of them all absolutely no doubt and i'm a massive fan of bitcoin but cryptocurrencies are being adopted and all over the place there's so many partnerships going on with different cryptocurrencies and you know being adopted here and there and all over the place you know litecoins being used with atari uh, Ethereum is being adopted by governments and things like that. It's happening. You just need to be able to look, you know, past all the FUD and check adoption because that's what's really going to tell you where the market's going to go long term. Short term, 100%. We could see a 20, 30%, 40, maybe even 50, 60% correction in the next day or two. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but it's absolutely possible that it could happen. But long term, crypto is here to stay and you just have to look at things like this Expedia massive travel travel company worldwide got global reach it's now taking on Bitcoin it did this a while ago it had Bitcoin for a while I think back in the kind of 2017 kind of peak you know when everyone was getting onto it then they disabled it for a little while but now they're back onto it they can see that this is a an ever-expanding industry and it's still going and what I found really really interesting is they are going to accept BTC, of course, Bitcoin. That's what everyone's going to uh, sort of about. Ethereum, so that's really important. This is an interesting one. Binance Coin, so BNB, they will actually accept BNB. So they believe that Binance Coin has obviously got something in it and there's going to be uh, you know, some gains to be made there. And they've also got their own uh, AVA token going on, or AVA, I'm not sure. I'm going to say AVA right there. So... You're going to be able to book holidays with cryptocurrencies now. Adoption is happening, people. It is right in front of you. You just need to be able to see past the markets, you know, and uh, the price and things like that. Adoption is the real key. Yes, the price could have a massive, you know, fall tomorrow. But long term, I truly believe cryptocurrencies, they are here to stay. It is a, you know, it's the future. This is where you know, money, financial transaction, and all that's going to be. Now, not all cryptocurrencies are, are like what we call true money, but they will be used similar to money and kind of like buying shares and things. Not exactly buying shares, but very, very similar. And, you know, you use their tokens, you'll be rewarded uh, for using their tokens and things like that. But anyway, so that's more adoption right there. Again, there's story after story after story out there of, you know, cryptocurrencies in general being adopted particularly bitcoin and even sort of ethereum but you know again now bnb is being used you know it's happening you just got to open your eyes so another thing that i saw that is uh i think is really big news coinbase is going to uh take custody and support secure uh, cardano staking so if you look behind that i would say that means that coinbase is going to uh offer Cardano they're going to start selling it Cardano is already on quite a rise uh, you know that and VeChain have been doing really really well along with a number of the DeFi coins uh, again there's no been there's not been any official release that Cardano is going to be offered on Coinbase but if they're going to uh, support the staking of it <laughs> of course they're going to be selling it so keep an eye on the Cardano price uh, I would say that will continue to rise and rise and rise I have a position in Cardano uh, that I'm pretty happy with hindsight's always a wonderful thing you know I, I put most of my money into Bitcoin Ethereum uh, and XRP XRP hasn't really done much at all it's just kind of roughly stayed the same price even lost a little bit Ethereum since I got in it's up you know, around about kind of 30, 40% and Bitcoin kind of sitting around that kind of 30% mark. But then I've got other ones that are well up over 100, 200%, you know, particularly the DeFi stuff. My Cardano is up uh, over 100% and some of my DeFi's, yeah, they're up over 200%. 
Now, I definitely see a retracement coming for them at some stage. But anyway, moving on, and in particular, this is one of mine that uh, is up over 200%. So Kyber Network. So it's finally here. So tomorrow, the 7th of, 7th of July. So it's the 6th of July here in Australia. So that'll be tomorrow. But I'd say this is more like, a, I'm sure it's USA time. So that'll probably be the sort of day after, or at least in the night time for us. So finally it's happened. They are going to have their staking. The catalyst is going live. Now we go over here. So if you're on Kyber Network on Twitter, uh, you can just click uh, onto, sorry, here, and this will take you over to their blog. And it tells you exactly, you know, how it's going to work and what you want to, what you need to do to uh, get it working. So 65% uh, is going to go to staking rewards, 30% are uh, reserve rebates, uh, and 5% uh, will be used for purchasing KNC tokens and burning them. So that's obviously going to push the price up uh, at some stage. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can go about the sort of staking. You can, I guess, kind of do your own staking pool if you want. It sounds like there's going to be a, you know, a reasonable amount of work involved in that and you have to uh, vote as well. So that's something you can look at or you can kind of uh, pull your coins in with other people, you know, use staking groups and things like that. I'll probably go the staking uh, group route. I don't know if I want to have my own kind of node sort of thing, I guess, and uh, be involved in the voting and all that at least not early on i'd have to look into it but the easiest way is i'll probably just stake through someone else get in, uh, involved in a pool now i did see something in here that it sounded like there are a few different wallets that were going to be uh used so trust wallet uh engine alpha wallet uh you know you can use your web browsers oprah and that uh and you can connect uh, your wallets uh to kyber.org through metamask Ledger, Trezor, Wallet Connect, and Wallet Link. That's the recommended way to do it. So that is all going to start on the 7th of July. So, you know, a day or two away, I guess, depending where you are. But I think this is massive news. I really, really like Kyber. I really like what they're about. I really like what they've done with their platform. They were, you know, they were around back in the 27 and 2017 kind of hype, you know, where, where it all, you know, went crazy. And then they even stuck around even through the 2018 kind of bear market where everything uh, went down. You know, they're not a fly-by-night kind of uh, coin that, you know, is only here for the gains and then they're going to take off, the, at least in my opinion, because that's, that's what this is. It's not financial advice. I believe they're legit. I think they are a great protocol. I think they're going to be around for a long time. And I don't have it here, but I remember hearing that uh, some company has invested heavily into uh, Kyber Network as they obviously a mass see a massive upside for it. So, yeah, great news uh, for Kyber. You know, you know the markets, you know, you know, they've gone up a little bit today. Obviously, Monday, the day back, you know, after the Sunday dump, that's generally what happens over the weekend. We lose a little bit. And then first thing Monday morning, everything starts to pump up again. It's not a guaranteed every time, but generally that's what happens. So, yeah, things are looking pretty solid in the crypto uh, sphere, if you ask me, in my personal opinion. Again, could we have a massive, you know, sell-off tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely we could, but I don't think it's the end. Uh, I think it is just going to be one of those things. The market will, will correct uh, and continue to go up. And my personal belief is we're still at the start uh, of a bull run. We might not even be at the absolute start of a bull run, but I do kind of think that the bull run started back in 2018 uh, when it hit those lows. So, yep, time will tell. Anyway, stay safe, be kind to one another. Hopefully everyone's made a couple of gains today, and I'm out.